Today I am in the 2003 Boxster S and I am having an amazing day of driving. Never experienced driving in a convertible then I highly recommend it because today I'm in a Porsche Boxster S and this really is what driving is all about you've got the wind in your hair or lack thereof and just makes you feel almost at one with nature I guess while you're driving let me take you back to the start. In 1992, Porsche came up with the Porsche Boxster concept and it was an absolutely stunning, stunning looking car. So stunning in fact, that it took the 1992 North American International Motor Show by storm. The fact that Porsche could be heading into new territory with such a piece of artwork for the road sent the media into a frenzy. And why not? Inspired by the 356 Cabriolet, Speedster and the 550 Spider, the Boxster concept was gorgeous and exactly what consumers were looking for. Fast forward that to 1996, Porsche released for the very first time the Porsche Boxster and for many it was hailed as Porsche's saving grace. And saving grace it was. Roadster lovers flocked to buy the new sleek and more affordable Porsche Boxster. The exterior styling ended up with a slightly restrained version of the concept, while the interior still maintained that classic Porsche quality, simplicity and functionality, making it all about the driving experience. With a mid-mounted 2.5 litre flat 6 Boxer engine, sales were strong and Porsche was back in business. It was definitely a car that was marketed to the many, as opposed to the 911, which was more marketed to a niche market. Fast forward that to 2003 now, and I am driving exactly that car, 2003 Porsche Boxster. But this is the Porsche Boxster S, which means it's got the bigger engine. Powering out 258 horsepower and 229 pound-feet of torque, the Boxster S will go from 0 to 100 in 5.7 seconds, which for its day wasn't too shabby. With a mid-mounted flat 6, the first generation Boxster S really cranked it up a notch with the addition of the bigger engine. Three point two litres to be exact, as opposed to the standard two point five litre Boxster. It really is a fun way of driving. Now, don't get me wrong, I am all about a coupe. I have fair skin, and I've just always enjoyed a coupe, and probably just the security that a coupe brings to me. However, when I stepped into the car for the first time, I was very surprised to see that when the roof is up, you would think you are actually sitting inside a coupe. The top is reasonably well insulated and it makes you feel safe and secure. I have to admit I was expecting it to stay quite noisy with air leaking in from random areas. Nice one Porsche. It's basically made me reconsider the thought of having a soft top, not only based on this, but if you add the fact that the price of a soft top is generally cheaper than coupes, it turns out to be quite an attraction. Okay, see how she handles shall we? Taking down a few little tight turns here. Oh, we be having a bit of fun today. It's a fun car to drive. Yeah, it's got a nice mixture of performance. The handling is wonderful. The balance is actually very, very good due to the mid-mounted engine. And the amount of torque this actually produces is just enough. I would say, unlike the 911s that are probably, yeah, get out of my way buddy, unlike 911s that have a ridiculous amount of power, this one probably has just enough, actually it has more than enough basically to, to handle 
what you need on the road these days, because you don't need much. The way that Porsches and cars are going just in general, everyone's heading towards four-cylinder turbo engines and hybrids at that. So this is going to be one of the few left of the naturally aspirated sixes. That's brilliant. I think they are a much better car than I actually gave them credit for. Tell you what I would be interested in, getting my hands on one of the brand new Porsches, four cylinder turbo, and see what that type of engine and handling is like compared to this one. It really is an added sense of enjoyment when you include the Roadster experience in your ultimate driving pleasure. Just, it just grips, grips so well to the road gives you the utmost confidence. That you can put it literally wherever you want. So how much can you pick up a car like this for? Well, the Boxster S ranging from, depending on the amount of kilometers and the quality that it's done, ranging from around 20,000 Australian dollars to 40,000 Australian dollars. Now I know that's a bit of a wide berth, but it really is a fact. It just depends on the quality of the car that you're buying at the time. The standard Boxster, well, you can pick them up for about 15 grand, which I think is quite a bargain. And I'm sure that you can have just as much fun with that one as you can with this one. But now that I've had a taste of the 3.2 liter engine, ooh, I think I'm hooked. This is what it's all about, just getting out and having a drive.